Amazon shareholders on Wednesday rejected proposals to ban sales of the company's facial recognition service to governments and to audit the service to determine if it harms civil rights and privacy. The vote is a blow to civil liberties groups who had urged the tech giant to address what the ACLU calls the dangers of the new technology. Reuters Amazon correspondent Jeffrey Dastin covered the shareholder meeting. While Amazon shareholders may have rejected the proposals around facial recognition for now, that doesn't mean that there won't be major changes soon to the company's technology and who uses it. Today, members of Congress, both Republican and Democrat, expressed growing interest in regulating the technology during the first of two committee hearings on facial recognition and civil rights. A Democratic member of the committee said in response to the Amazon vote, you know, this just means that Congress has to act. The capacity for abuse, lack of oversight, and technical immaturity poses too great a risk. In the past year, Amazon has found itself at the center of a growing debate over the use of facial recognition by governments, with critics warning not only that the technology could be misused, but also that it could be faulty, which could lead to false matches and arrests. Our faces may well be the final frontier of privacy. Proponents of the technology argue it keeps the public safe. Amazon has already sold its recognition service to law enforcement in Oregon and Florida. Behind the shareholder concern was research that showed Amazon's technology had issues with identifying the gender of individuals with darker skin, prompting fears that a faulty technology would put innocent people behind bars.